everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Yay! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's our first video we've recorded in this 2021. Year. <gasps> um, so today's video, we're going to review Wonder Woman Yay. 1984. Best year um, ever. Because, I mean, we were going to do it last week and then... Well, to be honest, we didn't feel like recording it. Um, and it gives people more time to see it before we have any spoilers. Because there will be spoilers. Spoiler alert. So, Spoiler if you don't alert. want spoilers, <laughs> click away. <laughs> go watch the movie. I just hit the microphone. <laughs> and then come back and see how your opinions match up with ours. So. Yay. We watched, uh, we tried watching it on Christmas Day. Christmas? But it wasn't working. Working? <laughs> so, <laughs> then we tried the next day, and it still wasn't working, and we're like, well, we, Why we, isn't it, it working? it's available on the phone. Why isn't it working on my computer? Phone, computer, phone, computer, phone, computer. So, I downloaded Google Chrome on my laptop and took off that whatever thing that they had on setting that Windows had on it. And then it worked. Yeah. So, we watched it. Yeah. yeah. And then I watched it again. Yes, yeah, she did. The next day. Yes, yeah, she did. And I want to watch it again. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> so, Wonder Woman 1984. Starts off with a mall heist. Woohoo! Mall heist. These guys go to the mall and they try to steal some artifacts from an illegal black market dealio going on in the back of a jewelry store. A jewelry store. And of course, Wonder Woman saves the day after saving two little girls. Woo woo! Because she's awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, so the whole plot is that there's this stone, the dream stone that they called it, where you hold it and then you wish and then you get your wish. But, 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 but there's always okay. strings attached. So if you wish for something, then something that you hold dear to yourself something that's important to you, you will lose. be taken away uh -huh. so mm. diana inadvertently wished for steve trevor to come back and then barbara minerva who wished to be more like diana because she worked in the smithsonian with her that's um, a cat. That's Kinji's <laughs> cat. Kinji Kinj, Kinji Kinj, Kinji Kinj. That's my Kinji Kinj. Um, and then Maxwell Lord wished to become the stone, stone itself. Bum, bum, bum. And so Maxwell Lord was using this power to get other people to wish so he can take their things from them without having things taken from him. I mean, he lost his health by wishing to become the stone, but then he was taking other people's health and the, their riches and their security. And anyway, else. so he's starting World War Three, basically, basically the complete destruction mm -hmm. of the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Diana has Steve Trevor come back in somebody else's body, yeah. but we only see him as somebody else for like. Two, two seconds minutes. and then he's Chris Pine um, and then they steal a plane <laughs> and then Diana Makes does the thing that yeah. Zeus did to make Themyscira invisible and she turns the plane invisible and dun 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 there's her invisible, invisible jet, jet. Um, and then they go to Egypt because they're following Maxwell Lord and uh, Diana's slowly losing her powers. Oh no! What shall we do? Um, and she gets shot and shot 
And then she tries to save some kids and she almost gets hit by a truck because she lost grip on the lasso. Lasso. Lasso of truth. Hestia. And then. Uh, what's her name? Was um, Barbara Minerva. Turning into Cheetah. Well, not yet. She was losing her humanity and becoming an angry person. And she Diana almost beats Jude to death, who um, harassed her in the park. And then he was harassing her again when she ran past him because she was researching the stone and she saw found out that it has appeared in multiple places all over the world throughout Throw history. history. Dun, dun, dun. Right before that civilization collapsed. <laughs> so. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and then what else happens? They so they they find out that uh, they have to either renounce their wish or destroy the stone to fix everything. But the stone's already gone since Maxwell Lord wished to become it. So they're like. We have to renounce our wish. And Diana's like, no, I don't want to. And Barbara Minerva's like, oh, hell no, I don't want to. And Maxwell Lord's like, yeah, right. Um, well, he, they didn't confront him about it yet. But anywho, so there's a whole fight scene that happens in the White House. Because Maxwell Lord was uh, meeting with the president and gave him extra nukes. Um, uh-huh. Which caused the Russians to be like, uh, the fuck did these come from? Uh, and so there's a fight, there's a fight. Barbara Minerva shows up and is like, no, you're not taking my wish away. And then she makes it, she makes it so he can run. Yeah, she stalls Diana and Steve Trevor and Maxwell Lord runs to the helicopter. And then she jets to the helicopter because she's super fast now because she wished to be like Diana. Um, and then he asks her, what would you wish for now? And she said, I want to be an apex predator. So they go to this special island with a satellite and television programming. And I have props for this part. She's like, so Maxwell Lord and... Barbara Minerva head to this island, secret military base that has the little White House emblem on it. See, right here, right here. And then he gets all these cameras together, right, right? And he's uh, recording, recording, and he's like, what do you wish for? Tell me what you wish for. And, and then sucking all the stuff in. He Whoa. hears people all over the world because he took over every broadcasting channel in the world. And he's like, even on phones and computers, and he's like, what do you wish for? Because they said, you can touch more, million, billions of people at once. And he's like, what? Because he has to touch people in order for the wish. But anyway, so metaphorically, he's like, what do you wish for? And they're like, I wish for a million dollars. I wish to be a king. I wish for a pony or whatever. Um, and so he's like, you get your wish, you get your wish, and I'm going to take your health and your strength, and I'm going to give her your agility, agility and, and whatnot, stuff. blah, 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 blah. So he's taking shit, he's giving shit to Barbara Minerva, and then she turns into the cheetah. Makes a tail and everything. And then Diana shows up in this very special armor that I don't want to give stuff away about. And she's like, Barbara, you, oh, wait, 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 first she, and she broke the satellite. That'll end it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to pick those pieces up. Anyway, so Diana renounces her wish, and Steve goes away, and she's like, why can't I have this one thing? Just this one Just thing. Just this one thing. I don't ask for anything else. I'm always there, and I'm happy to help people, blah, 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 blah. And then she starts running, jogging, because she's slow, because she lost her powers. And she's like, I renounce my wish. She starts getting faster and faster and faster and faster and, stronger, faster, and, faster, and, stronger. and stronger. And then she lassoes the plane, and she's like... And then she remembers Steve saying something about catching the wind, and that's how you fly. And so she starts flying. <gasps> what? And then she puts on this armor, this special, special armor, and she flies 
to the island, and she comes face to face with Cheetah. Arr. And she's like, stop it, Barbara, you have to oh. renounce your wish. And Barbara's like, no, I don't want to. And she's like, Barbara, please. Arr. And she's like, no. And then they fall into the water, and there's this wire dangling, and Diana's like, just renounce your wish. No. And Barbara's like, no. no. And then uh, Diana's like, then I'm sorry. so sorry. And she pulls her in with the wire, and it goes, <laughs> she's electrocuted. And she passes out. And Diana carries her and lays her on the ground. And then she goes inside and she's like, Milk's my lord! Stop what you're doing! And he's like, no! And blah, 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 blah. That's she laughs at his ankle. And she's talking to the people through the airwaves. And she says, oh, you can save the world and read out your wish and blah, 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 blah. This world was a beautiful place just as it was. Blah, 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 blah. And then Maxwell Lord sees his son in danger. And she's like, save him, Max. Save him. And so he says, I renounce my wish. And then everyone else is, I renounce my wish. And then and everything, <laughs> like nothing ever happened. And then they're like, Phew. And then Maxwell Lord's like, I'm so sorry, son. I was a terrible father. Blah. And then Diana's like, I am Wonder Woman still. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that's the end of the movie, basically. Yep, basically. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and so, time for our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have the recap going. <laughs> so, I am biased because I am pretty much obsessed with Wonder Woman. Um, yeah. I love it so much. I love it a woman. Excuse me? Um, Sorry. <laughs> so, I just realized the camera stands. I'm not on the camera. Oh, well. It's fine. All good. Um, so, I liked it. I, I, I do understand the pitfalls and the problems that some people have. For example... A friend of mine from high school pointed out that um, they were disappointed in the fact that there was so much concentration on Diana and Steve's relationship. And I kind of agree. Like, I understand where they're coming from. Because it really wasn't necessary to the story because you would think that Diana, after not being able to return home to Themyscira for 70, or not 70 at that time, 40 years, for 40 years she hasn't been able to return home, see her mother, but she, she, she wishes for her boyfriend to come back, this dude she knew for, what, like two weeks, maybe? Yeah. I mean, she said she fell in love with him and the love of her life, blah, 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 but... You would think she want she would want to return home to the mascara, right? Because that's you know, the that's one the thing she can't she's ever known. Do like she because her mother told her if you leave you can never return because that's the rules. So it's like, wouldn't you wish to return home? Anyway, I understand mm -hmm. where the the that critic yeah. criticism comes from. Because they always make it seem like women can't live without men. Yeah, it's like, uh, Diana's supposed to be this feminist icon, and she, I mean, she is. But then, like, her focusing so much on a guy. It's unlikely. Highly Problematic. unlikely. Problematic. Problematic, to say the least. Anywho, yeah. I liked it. I, I mean, because I, I would like it no matter what, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah, she would. And I'm a sucker for Chris Evans. Uh, Chris Evans? Ooh. Freudian slip. I have a sucker for Chris Pine as well. <laughs> Plus, he has the same birthday as me. So, like, yeah. How did you like the movie? How, I, how, how, how I was, was your opinion? How was your opinion? I was inserting my two cents. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it for the most part. It just the whole yeah Steve Trevor thing kind of you know. But for the most part, it was good. Very predictable. Very, very predictable. 
Um, and the whole end of Cheetah thing at the end of the movie just... Was that, like, yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't like that, because... Christian Wick was Cheetah for, like, five minutes. Yeah. And then she renounced her wish? What? That didn't happen. According to the comic, she's still Cheetah for a while before she wishes she could have her humanity back. But that's not how she became Cheetah in the first place. But anywho... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, when I heard it was called 1984, I thought it was going to be something about the Cold War and the Berlin Wall and whatever, because that was happening then. I thought she was going to have to save people from, you know, in West Germany or something. But no. No. Nope. Nothing to do with war at all. Nope. Except them almost starting World War Three. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what happened to Ares then? Because obviously he's still around if there's still wars. Uh, she fought. She fought Ares in World War One. What about World War Two? What happened to World War Two? But anyway. Also, ooh, the photos. The photos. All the photos. Um. So, in Diana's apartment, they show her. Um photos and she's photos with the people from the first movie um at a candy as an older lady so cute, so cute. and then she's with um i can't think of their names charlie and what was the guy who wanted to be an actor's name i don't remember the linguist yeah I don't anyway there's a photo of her with them in a, is it one of their weddings I think so. Yeah. And then there's a photo of her with Chief that looks like they're with um, concentration camp survivors because they're wearing the black and white striped stuff and they're all smiling and whatever. So that would have been a good 20 years after World War One, yeah? Oh, yeah, World War One. It wasn't World War Two. I was thinking World War Two when I said forty years, because in the yeah, comic book so. she she her origin was in World War Two, but it was World War One. So that was like nineteen eighteen ish, right? I have no idea. Either way, it was it was yeah. almost seventy years then yeah. that she had seen hadn't seen her family, her mother. Right. Um. So, and Tyope had just died as well before she left the Mascara, so... Why wouldn't she want to go back and, like, grieve? Or just be there well, to I mean, in those, those years, I'm sure she would have mourned the loss. But, um... What was I saying? Oh, the, the chief. That would have been a good 20 years, almost 20 years later, and he looked the same still, so... Is that lore of him being the demigod, the Native American demigod, is that true? And if so, why wasn't he in this? And where is he? What is he doing? And is he going to be in the third movie? Yeah. I really, awesome. really want that to happen. I yeah. really want that to happen. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, I think that's it for this video. Yep, which yep. is... Almost 20 minutes long. <laughs> so, um, let us know what you thought of Wonder Woman, if you've seen it yet. Um... Do you agree with the whole romance was not necessary aspect? Do you think there's something better that could have been done? How do you think they handled the cheetah situation? What do you think of Chief? Etc. 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 Let us know your opinions of the movie in the comments below. Yay! And we will see you all next Tuesday. We have videos for you every Tuesday. Hopefully every week. This month, this month, this year, this year. Cross our fingers that everything goes well. So, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.